So here are some ways to make your AverMedia PW513 webcam work better. You ready? So first things first, you don't have to have it mounted in a ring light or any other mount. You can just put it on top of your mount monitor because this camera has an adjustable mount on the bottom of it to where you can get it in the right position, the right pan and tilt. One key factor to making it look good on your face is to have nice diffused lighting on your face. So you can accomplish that through getting something like a ring light or a diffused LED light like these that I have right here. So the lighting is really important and you need to adjust the lighting so that your skin is not overexposed with too much light and that you need to make sure you pour your body with light, preferably from at least two frontal sources and one backlight for the back of your head. Then another thing that you can do with the Avery Media PW513 is install the official software for the camera, which allows you uh, to tweak all of the different settings for the camera and make all of those settings optimized. So let me just show you what some of those settings look like right here. I'm just gonna go to this scene. So uh, my camera is currently being gobbled up by another program, but I'll just show you. If you have not already installed the Cam Engine software, this software right here is gonna tweak in all the settings for your AverMedia PW513. It's the official free software that comes with the camera. And then when you go through and you do all of these settings, and I have tutorials on my Amazon page for all of this, you do all of the settings that I recommend, the backlight compensator, the exposure, there's even some filters for your skin tone and smoothing. You do all of that, plus you have the lighting, plus you position the camera properly, and you're gonna be in great shape. Another key factor with the Avery Media PW513 webcam is that you need to have it plugged into a USB 3.0 jack. If it's in a USB 2.0 jack, it will not work properly. And I've seen a lot of people make that mistake. Those are the checklists, okay? USB 3.0 jack, cam engine software, two sources of frontal lighting, one source of backlighting. You can put it on top of your monitor. Then you go through my tutorials on all the settings for the camera. And it should fix some of your issues with your camera not looking so good because the Avermedia PW513 is a gorgeous webcam. Cool?